All right, welcome back to another episode of Dynasty Warriors: Eight Empires. So previously, the last episode is very embarrassing because I was just totally don't know what I'm doing. But I hope this episode we can proceed further and hopefully get another raise soon, so I can actually unlock more options to managing the country, or better, get some sworn brothers and just wreak havoc by overthrowing my emperor who is standing behind all this shit. Alright, so right now we have an option to actually build some facilities and you can see that there's actually a um, few choices of them and the last choice is actually new called building a city wall just like those Rome empires you can actually build something to make your city more durable to invasions. That's my guess because I am a jerk that decided to just press the button and not read everything. So right now we have the objective of building a weaponsmith and a, I guess, grocery store, if you will. Um, we are lacking materials, and I don't want to be a dick and just go like ask for taxes and shit. So I decided to do trade-offs. And whatever I did apparently make people very unhappy because there's three different places of our regime is very like, discontent with me. Damn it, man! But all right, let's try. What am I doing right now? Yeah, to build... What was the objectives again? I think it's, um, yeah, grocery. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, just to be sure, because I have a very short memory span, I'm sorry. So, I don't know what's the difference of building it in the mines or in the market. I guess as long as you build it, it's gonna work. I guess they have the option for both. Oh, hey, I got a, like, new achievement. Architect. Alright, sounds good. So it's okay, we're gonna do a steady income, that's fine. And then on the top of the screen, we can see there's um, five months before we actually have the next meeting. So I'll go ahead and see if I have enough materials to actually build, but I'm pretty sure I don't, so <sighs> I'm gonna regret this, but I have to go just ask for taxes and stuff. Yeah, this option actually existed in the previous generation, so there's really nothing much new. Alright, it's the sweet summertime. And yes, what? Okay, so he's gonna. Is he gonna give me something? He says, please take this. Look at my character doing that. Oh, look at it. I got a unique weapon because like normal weapons only have the squares on top. This one has a gold star on it. Um, honestly speaking, it's not really the attributes I want, but fair enough because I unlocked another achievement which says precious gift from the loved one. Mm -hmm, makes sense. So right now I have a lot more supplies and a whooping amount of cash, which I I'm probably allowed to build something under my turf, so I'm just gonna get the blacksmith going on. Ooh, it's the month of my birthday, which no one really wanna know. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, I kind of forgot that the previous meeting already planned out the assault. So, unfortunately, I'm not high of the rank yet, so I do not get to choose who's going with me. Uh, which is fortunate, my man is going too, but I'm pretty sure he has nothing else to say apart from that really boring line he's been saying over and over again. Um, back to the choices, just for sake of up-leveling my character, not just being chicken, I will stick with the easier ones to go because I'm pretty sure the more I level up, I guess it will be easier for me to either um, uprank myself or maybe just easier to rebel if I really have to resort to that later. So you probably noticed I went ahead and equipped it the ice skill. Which I'm not sure how that works because I would hope it's gonna be a like large area skill good for crowd controls because I don't have issues with fighting off like single officers hand to hand, but I guess whatever it's the final base that you have to conquer, there's gonna be loads of them waiting for you. So we'll have to see about that. So basically this is another conquering mission. If we win the battle, it's just like the way it's named. We will have an extra piece of land in our territories. So I will go ahead actually, because today's my holiday, all of a sudden in the weekday. 
I will try marathon playing this because I have to be away from town for a month. And I don't want to have like, stuff like that. I'm pretty really sure this challenge is starting. Yet, but just for the sake of myself, I would want to be like this ASAP and I cannot be ready. My guess is that I'm going to be able to play it while I'm away. Just so that Christmas there and so much fun and like just using your TV because you have to like so yeah. Speaking of which, so this is a concrete mission. I'm sorry about the rest of it. Um, as you can see right now, we are still in territory and back in the like, initial seven version of this, by the time we start getting stuff, we actually will find this but like I said just now, um, as well, I think we need to be at least once to choose the for the time we get to choose the which I decided to do at least yet. Um, so far, it's not that bad, and I chose the main one, but I'm going to use the main sauce, I guess, for the but it didn't come to chase because it was a good Attack speed is sweet, but the, I guess like the area coverage is kind of shit. I don't have the item that increases your coverage area, or whatever you call it, because maybe I should just go red a English version of the Rules for sake of not misleading you guys. Yeah, so I was a little bit doubtful about how good this new guy's weapon is gonna be because when I first read the description, I was like, what is this, Diablo shit battle stuff? Because I've seen a lot of characters who are pretty sweet, like Juke and Young, and I guess the Fantasy Warrior 7 version of Juke and Young actually uses the Swishy weapons, like those um, Chinese fans, Like, if their attacks are controlled well and have a decent weapon, they could be really havoc with, like, large crowd control. And, well, they are the brain people in history, although this technically is not really based on history. But they actually do some research, and that's the reason why I really like the series, so I thought that when this new guy... Oh, like, he is the brain person in Tao Tao's army, so I guess when they introduced him using this battle staff, I was like, you know, he's gonna be one of those guys. Like, the smart guys who have sweet attacks and you know how to control them. But his weapon is probably gonna be something. And right now, I start using it, I guess he's like, not that bad to be in one. Although I still didn't really understand what does the planting like, of this battle staff is more like just that just one of the box oh yeah this is what you guys are doing which is really it's very annoying oh it's awesome the beast guy and I think I might be wrong see like I'm still trying to figure out how am I supposed to make use of these oh never mind be solved so basically if you actually done your finishing with the charge and you press the uh, charge button again, they actually like treat those like, markings like there's some kind of, I guess, remote detonation. What is this? Some kind of shooter game? Well, anyways, you actually detonate those little battle staffs stuck on the floor and do some damage. I'm not quite sure how much damage it does, but apparently if you're not like blocking the attack, well, one minute until the beginning of Hellfire. So basically what happens here is if you are not on guard, that's my guess. If you're not like blocking attacks and protecting yourself, if that thing just goes off, you actually have like moments that you got shot up the air and try to continue your attacks with your hair. I think that's how it works. But so far I like this weapon better than the one I chose when I did this edit character. 
I don't know yet. I might like to try some other characters like this if I have a chance. And... But the thing is, ooh, I haven't seen one of these, like, the sparring. They would call it the sparring. Yeah, man, I'm gonna go cheat. So apparently when I am bullshitting here right now, someone's trying to put up a large scale tactic on me and apparently one of these dudes that are part of the plan. Ooh, look at homeboy man, he's gonna just flip these motherfuckers. Yeah, so basically apparently unlike the previous generation, I forget about like I guess six empires because I haven't played that for years and I don't even try to pick that out. Um, apparently the last generation you could actually purchase anyone's weapon of choice. So yeah, back to the game for a little bit. Not the mechanics lesson from monsters. Um, so we are almost done. I'm just trying to reach the objectives and take a little off time. This dude bitch. Like, I remember his character model in SD and 4. It wasn't that bad. And then Koei decides to just mess around with him and make him turn like some kind of, I don't know, some crazy demonic sadistic motherfucker on my car. That's all I have to say. Look at his face, man. Like, his beard, whatever that shit is, is unholy. That's all I've got to say. So yeah, what I was saying is back in the last generation, you could actually purchase anyone's weapon. You could just use them. But then off screen, I didn't show you guys, I was trying to get some new weapons for myself and apparently you only get to purchase the weapons that you have unlocked by the means of unlocking, meaning that, um, sorry, excuse me, by the means of unlocking just means that you actually have that character class using that weapon as your ally. So, yeah, there's not much of a choice and goodbye, ugly sir. I know fans of him would probably just come raving at me or kick my ass. Does he even have fans? Because his new weapon is just bombs, but accuracy and control is just hard. But anyways, we've won this battle. This is gonna be a relatively short- yes, completion! Awesome! I hope I raise a level after this. So basically, his new weapon is hard to control and I guess his character design is the least of my favorites. So, yeah. Alright. Um, let's just say further expansion is complete. And I'm seeing this going smoothly. I hope that I could end this soon. No confidence, but I'll try my best for you all. And we got a new title because we won a battle with more than 5,000 people difference, which you can't really tell from the map, but well, you won it. Be proud about it. What? You serious? I went to a battle and I just gave birth? What about pregnancy, man? Isn't the father gonna be like, Oh my god, my kid is born. Like, no happiness. I just... Oh my... Okay. This doesn't make sense. But... I get to name her. Uh, how's about naming it after... Not it. I mean, naming her after myself. Oh man. I'm just gonna name her Annie. My name. Yeah, I can't wait to battle with my baby girl. Here you go. Achievement. First child born. How's about that? My husband gave no shit about my child. Our child, for that fact. Ugh. Well, two months before the next meeting and we have all completed this. Thank you guys all for sticking around with me and there you go. Childbirth system. Well, anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.